It's you, Susan. Come closer. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. It's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Fine. I'll do what you want. Excellent. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. You shall not regret this, my dear. Lights up. We're back in the house. Yes, but there is something else that must be done. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I am speaking of. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood. It doesn't sound good at all. See those candles here? Just blow one out and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. Then on your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much, just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Hi, 大家好，我是梅国富英。我们这次呃，欢迎来看了我们的。呃，《The K Lady》实况第二回。那我们现在故事逐渐的进入到核心。现在这个看起来像诈骗集团的老婆婆，就是叫我们去牺牲一个人。Tell me about the sacrifice of soul. Like I said, it's just a formality. See those candles here? Just blow one out, and that's it. But which one? You can choose. It doesn't matter as long as you do it. 怎么看都像诈骗集团呢、啊。Fine, I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. When you leave my house, head to the field. That's where you should be. Goodbye, my child. I'm not going to be far. I've never been. Oh, 那我们就找一根蜡烛来吹熄They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me.
See how easy that was? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. 讲的还真是轻松啊，诈骗集团。牺牲一个人之后呢，我们就可以离开这里了。What the? How did I get back here? Doki doki.好，我们现在回到一开始那个看起来非常可疑的一些旁边，旁边好像还有一堆血的地方。那这个我们只要过这个地方就可以回到现实世界。但是我要先警告各位，这个有点刺激哦，所以请各位做好心理准备。把手伸进去，准备哦。好，那我们的第一章就结束了，现在进入我们的第二章。Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. 
There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts? Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. 
Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Zajada. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Bad dream. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all, not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course, and as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames, and so did she. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... I woke up here, and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me, and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My... daughter? Yes. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. 